and the Lord chose his voice before his army. For his camp is very great, for he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? So we are here fishing, man, trying to catch our people, right? So let's, let's try Jake's spirit out, man. Right. Hey, y'all mighty brothers got a minute to hear the words of the Lord? Yeah. Y'all got two minutes? Yeah. All praise. And get these brothers in here. All praise. Oh, this is oh, this Bible study? Yeah. All praise. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, hey, hey, all praise. So, hey, hey, let me ask y'all a question one by one, right? So, yeah, make sure all of them get flies, right? Hey, you want to buy a cord? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, cool. All of them got flies? Yeah, make sure everybody get a fly. This is beautiful, right? So, we got all the tribes together. Right, so let me ask y'all brothers one by one. I'm going to go around, right? I'm going to ask y'all one by one. Brothers, what's your nationality? My nationality? Yeah, what's your nationality? My nationality. Hold on, hold on. Let, hold on. Let me, let me say it like this. Let me say it like this, right? Your father, right? Your father, African American? Who would be your father's uh, nationality? African American. African American, what about you? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, what about you? African American, what about you? Puerto Rican, all praise, right? So what we out here doing, right? We out here trying to wake our people up and let them know who they truly are in these last days, right? So this brother just said here, African American. When you go into that term African American, that's not a true nationality. The word nationality means what bloodline of people you come from. So African American, that's two different continents. And when you look at those names, that come from two different Europeans. Right? You had a white man by the name of Amerigo Vespucci, who they named America after. And then you got another white man named Leo Scipios Africanus. That's where you get Africa from. So if y'all brothers look on this side right here, point yourselves out. Where are you on this chart? You said you African American? Oh, it's myself, no way. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You say you an African American, a black man, right? Oh, yeah, that's me right Negro, now. right? So, oh, yeah. where, where, that, where that got you? Right? So, y'all see y'all so called Puerto Ricans? Ephraim. Ephraim, right? Hey, get these yeah. brothers in here. Oh, crazy. Right, crazy. <laughs> so, let me, get, uh, let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 15. All right, so we gonna make it quick because we don't want to hold y'all up. We want to give y'all this message real quick, right? Let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Let me get Deuteronomy 1 and 1. So we're going to make this plain and simple for y'all brothers, right? Read, uh, read, read that first. God, this is the book of Deuteronomy right. chapter 1, verse 1. Right. These be the words. Hold on, let me ask y'all real quick. Y'all brothers, y'all believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. All praise. So look, so these brothers said they African American, right? These brothers said they Puerto Rican. So you believe in the Bible, right? You believe in God, right? So do you believe God created everybody and everything? So when God created everybody on the earth, can you go in the Bible and show me what God created group of people and made them African Americans? No. Can you go in the Bible and show me what God created a group of people and made them Puerto Ricans? No. So the real question is, who are we according to the Bible? What did God call us when he created us? In the Bible, it, it ain't no such thing as Puerto Rican. There ain't no such thing as African American. So what did God call us? We're gonna find out. We gotta get from God. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Right. Chapter 1, verse 1. Right. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So did y'all catch that? So this whole Bible is 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 two main characters. You got the Most High God, and you got His chosen people, which are the Israelites, right? That's who this Bible is about. They say this Bible is a universal book, and they say it's for everybody. But the Lord just said this Bible is for the children of Israel, right? So let's find out who these people will be today. So we got to get from the top. This the book of Deuteronomy, right? chapter one, verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. This book is about the children of Israel, right? So read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass, right. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Y'all remember the story of Moses when Moses split the Red Sea? Yeah. And who, who was with Moses? His people, right? Which are who? Yeah. The Israelites. Because remember, they were slaves in Egypt. And the uh, uh, Moses went to the Pharaoh and said, look, the Lord said, let my people go. And then the, uh, Moses split the Red Sea, and the rest of the Israelites went across the Red Sea, right? 
So remember, the Lord gave Moses the Ten Commandments. So he said, tell the Israelites they got to keep my commandments and I'm going to give blessings to them. But if they break my commandments, we see what's going to happen. Do that. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to observe to do all his commandments, to do what? To observe to do all his commandments. The Lord said, if the Israelites don't do all his commandments, what's going to happen? And statutes which I command thee this day, right. that all these curses, that all these what? That all, all these, these curses, curses, that all these what? That, that all, all these, these curses. curses. So the Lord said, all these curses, read shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said for breaking his commandments, he was gonna bring curses upon the Israelites, right? Don't lose focus, right? I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make this real quick. So the Lord said the Israelites for breaking his commandments, he gonna put curses on this nation of people. So give me verse 46. This is the verse 46. Right? And thou shalt be upon thee for a sign. So the Lord said these curses are going to be upon the Israelites for a sign. So look, look at that sign across the street. Let's say that tower, right? But if it didn't have that sign, how would we know what that place was? We wouldn't know, right? So that sign is used to identify what that business is, right? So the Lord said he going to put curses upon the Israelites to identify who these people would be today. So we going to find out. Who are the Israelites today by reading these curses in this Bible? So give me the first curse, go to verse uh, 16. All right? I'm going to give y'all a few of these uh, curses. Go to verse uh, 16. Verse 16. All right? Curse shall thou be in the city. What the Lord say? Curse shall, shall thou be in the city. So the Lord said the Israelites going to be cursed in the city, right? So when you look at any city around the world, right? Like I come from, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. This brother, he from, where you from, King? Goldsboro. He, he from Goldsboro. That brother from Long Beach, California. When you go to all these cities like Chicago, New York, LA, Atlanta, who's cursed in the city? What'd you say? So-called black people, right? Where I come from, you got so-called black people, so-called Hispanic people. Where we live at? Are we, are we living blessed in the city or are we cursed in the city? We cursed in the city, right? Because what, what, what are some of the things that we go through as a people? In the inner city. Name me something. Huh? Getting shot. Getting shot. Drive bys, right? What else? Name me something that how we cursing uh, the racism city. Racism police. Racism, right? Police shooting oh, you down police. the street, right? Yeah, huh? Police brutality. Police brutality, right? So let me name a few more. You got you got drug infested neighborhoods, you got gang banging going on, right? People living in poverty, right? So the Lord said the Israelites gonna be cursing the city. We're going through that. Where I come from, only so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans going through that. The Chinese men ain't living in the hood with me going through no curses. The so-called white men not living in the hood with me going through no curses. The damn Japanese and the Arab men not in my hood, right? So who is who is going through that stuff? So-called black, everybody on the sign, they going through that, right? So remember, the Lord talking to the Israelites. He said this gonna happen to the Israelites. So read the next scripture. And curse shall thou be in the field. In the what? Curse shall thou be in the field. So look at the sign. What nation of people was cursed in the fields? Right? Right? What's going on in these fields? Don't you see people getting their back beat in? Don't you see people getting hanging from trees? Getting burned alive? Picking cotton from sun up to sun down? Don't you know the so called white man had the Puerto Ricans working on the uh, sugar uh, plantations? Right? Picking uh, damn sugar canes all day? Right? So this only happens to so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans. We the ones that was cursed in the fields, right? So the Lord said the Israelites gonna be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Now give me verse 68. Give me verse 68. So we gonna, we gonna give you this last one, right? Verse 68. Right? And give me Exodus 20 and 2. And the most high shall bring so like it. And the most high shall bring thee into Egypt again. Hold on, so the Lord said another curse, another main curse to identify the Israelites. He said he gonna bring them back into Egypt. But they just left from Egypt, right? So what is the Lord really saying in this verse? Remember the Israelites, what was they doing in Egypt? What it? There was what? There were slaves, right? The Egyptians and Pharaoh had the Israelites in slavery. So the Lord said he gonna bring you back into Egypt. So what is he really saying? Let's find out. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, right? Chapter 20, verse 2. Right. I am the Lord thy God, right? Which have brought thee 
out of the land of Egypt. Right. Out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out of, of the, the house of bondage. bondage. That word Egypt, it truly means bondage or slavery or captivity. So when the Lord said he gonna bring you back into Egypt, he said he gonna bring you back into slavery. So read that again from the top and let's see what it's talking about. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again so the Lord with said, ships. Hold on, so the Lord said he gonna bring the Israelites back into slavery again with what? With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. How we get to America? With, with ships. ships. How we get to Puerto Rico? With, with ships. ships. How we get to the Bahamas? With, with ships. How do we get to Haiti? With, with ships. ships. So who did that happen to? What nation of people was taken into slavery and put on a ship? Who did that happen to? What? Not, not only blacks, but it happened to so-called Hispanics. Don't you know when you do the history uh, about the so-called uh, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, right? In 1492, when Christopher Columbus came over here and the Spanish conquistadors, they came to the uh, the, uh, the so-called Caribbean islands, right? And they enslaved the, the indigenous people of Puerto Rico, the indigenous people of uh, uh, Cuba and the Dominican Republic. And they put them on slave ships and they took them back to Spain and Portugal. And then in 1619, they took the so-called uh, West Africans and they brought us over here in slave ships. So who is that talking about? You got a question? <laughs> Okay, we're going to answer that next week. Let's finish this real quick. Right? So By the way whereof I spake unto thee, right. thou shalt see it no more again. Right, so, right, you know. And thou, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So the Lord said when we got to this land, we was going to be sold to our enemies. Who sold us when we came off those places? Well, you say, brother? That's right. So what did the Lord just call them? Your that's enemies, right. that's right. You know? And ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men uh -huh. and bond women, right. and no man shall buy you. So the Lord said you're going to be sold into your enemies for slave men and slave women, right? So when y'all first came up and I asked y'all what's y'all nationality, these brothers said they're African American. And this brother, and then that brother said they're Puerto Rican. So the Lord just said that this is talking about the Israelites. And he just named some of the curses that was going to happen to the Israelites. That's only a few of them. We didn't even go through all of them for sake of time. So if these curses only fit our people, who would be our true nationality? Would you, would you say, brother? Right, so give the brother a hand. So that's what we out here doing. We out here telling the truth for the Bible. According to the Bible, ain't no such thing as African American or black. Brother, your shirt black. We can't be black. My skin is brown. This brother's skin is brown. How we gonna be black? Right? So, ain't no such thing as a Puerto Rican. The word Puerto Rican means Puerto Rican, right? Ain't no such thing as a, as a damn Dominican. Ain't no such thing as a Haitian. The Lord said we are the children of Israel, right? right? All right, so now look, so, your question you said is this Jesus. Yeah, but, um, so what if we all, um, like, Jesus is a white man? Right. What if he see you putting six and six on his head and arms? How, how would he see you? Like, so hold on, so, yeah, so you think, so basically. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think he's white, though. Right. But still, the picture alone, like, still, it feels like kind of disrespectful. So, so, so hold on, do you know what Jesus looked like? Nah, so I'm we, telling you this his eyes are like fire. Hold on, okay, so he got his eyes like fire. He said, so look, yeah, that's so right. we gonna show you according to the Bible. Do that. What you got? Know? Revelation. All right, bring that out. So like we said, so if y'all don't remember anything else today, remember that y'all not y'all the Israelites, right? You're not Puerto Rican. You're not African American. You are the Israelites right. for your respective it's tribe. The category they gave us. Right. So like I said, if you're so-called African American. You were Israelite from the tribe of Judah. If you were so-called Puerto Rican, you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim, right? So he asked about uh, Christ. You see what Christ looked like according to the Bible. Read, yeah, read one and one. Read. This is the book of Revelation, right? chapter 1, verse 1. Right. The revelation of Hamashiach Yahushua, Jesus Christ. So look, so the word revelation means to reveal. 
So this is the Apostle uh, John. So he's saying a vision of what the Lord looked like, right? So he said this is the revelation and revealing of who the world called Jesus Christ. Now I jump down to verse uh, 14. 13. Yeah, yeah, 13. Verse 13. Right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, right. one like unto the Son of Man. And the Son of Man is who y'all call Jesus Christ, you know? Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Because back in the ancient days, we had on garments. We wore garments. He said he had on one down to the foot, right? You know? Hey! Girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he had on a long garment. He had like a gold, a solid gold bit around his waist, right? You know? Verse 14. Right? His head. And his head. So the hair on his head and the hair on his beard was like what? We're white like wool. We're what? We're white like wool. He said he had white woolly hair, right? So what nation of people on the earth have woolly hair? Well, today they will call it, they will say nappy, right? What nation of people have nappy hair? So-called black people, right? Like your, like your brother got a fro, like your hair, like your hair, right? Like mine's, right? Oh, so we don't. As white as snow, right? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So just like the brother brought out, his eyes were as a flame of fire, right? So look at this picture right here. This man, he don't got woolly hair. He got, he got long stringy hair. His eyes not like a flame of fire. He got blue eyes. So who is this guy? This can't be Jesus. Can't. So let's finish reading on. Verse 15. Right. And his feet right. like unto fine grass. Right. Right. So if you took your shoes off and I seen your feet, your feet gonna be the same color as the rest of your body. So the Bible said the Lord had feet the color of grass. What color is grass? It's brown. So, but let's see how brown the Lord was, you know? As if they burned in a furnace. As what? As if they burned in a furnace. If I put a pizza in the oven and I burn it, what color is going to come out? So, the Lord, the scripture just said the Lord is a brown skinned man. But not only is he brown, he's so dark, he's like he got burnt in the furnace. So, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> who the hell is this guy? Don't know. So if you look, if you actually, right, so if you actually, watch everybody. right, if you right. actually do the history on who this guy is, this is a real man. His name is Caesar Borgier. Why you can type, you can type this up on your phone. This man's name is Caesar Borgier. He was the son of, of uh, Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome. And it was right. a fight. That's right. So during, let me get, That's true. let me, uh, let me get Job <laughs> nine and twenty-four. Nine, two, Hold that, let me get Job 19. Bring it up! 19 to 4. So that man, this man right here, this is Caesar Borgia. They, during the Renaissance period, they painted him and said that he was Christ. Because when you, when you go into other countries, right? Crazy. And you go into the, uh, right, so they, they whitewash you like the brother just said. So read what you got. 19 to 4, right? 9 to 4, Job 9, 9, to, 9 to 24. 9 to 24. The Old Testament or the New Testament? Uh, this is in the Old Testament. We go, we, we stand by the Old and New Testament. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Michael, this is actually, this is a prophecy that came to pass. So the Lord said that this was going to happen in these last days. Right, we don't. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Right. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the Lord said, in these last days, the earth was going to be given into the hand of the wicked. Well, let's find out and see who the wicked is, you know? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. So he said he covered the faces of the judges thereof. That's right. Who is the ultimate judge that's going to come back and judge the earth? Who you call Jesus Christ. But in the Bible, we just read that he is so-called black man. When they covered the face of the true judge and they gave you this man, right? So, like I said, if you do your research on this dude, his name is Caesar Borgia, right? They painted him as the uh, during the Renaissance period. Because when you go before a certain time period, all the biblical figures was painted, originally painted as so-called black, uh, so-called black people. But now, when you look at all the biblical figures, they look like that, right? Like right, you look up the Russian icons, they gonna have old paintings of uh, Christ, the apostles, all the prophets. They gonna look like so-called black people. 
So who was your, you had to, uh, that was, did that basically answer your question? Yeah, basically, uh, I always believed Jesus was black. Oh, I never, I never really got like, really, like, really deep into the Bible, so I never really heard someone like, explain it. Right, right, this is the question. Yeah, like you. Yeah, yeah. We got it in the box. Appreciate you. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. That's why y'all hang together. That's how y'all got so much in common. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. You're the same people. Hey, Different tribes. Appreciate you, man. All right, bro. Y'all brothers, it's like you got chosen people. You got to repent, keep the commandments. All right. Y'all ain't going to say Look at yourself. Y'all ain't going back with water this time. That's right. That's right. That's right. So y'all got to subscribe. We're getting close to that. Subscribe. There's a whole reason of a rainbow. That's right. That's right. To remind you. We ain't down with no rainbow. All right, bro. All right, y'all. All right, take care of you. Appreciate it. Respect. All right, bro. Take it easy, bro. Subscribe to the channel, man. And that was seven bucks. All praise. All praise. Let's give these brothers another round of applause. Most high right there, bro. Get a most high round of applause. Right. Uh -huh. right. They didn't have no problem stopping. Right, so, hey, that's a blessing, hey, man. And there was stayed. seven of them. Right. right. And it was seven. Right, hey. so, hey, that's a, that's a and, blessing. And they stayed. Like that candle's <laughs> right, right. Hey, a lot of them right, right. take all these. What did they call yeah. it? Right. So, Shemar. So, right, Shemar, Yeah, we asked the Menorah. Let's get back to it. All right. So, that's a blessing. So, hey, that's what we're looking for in these last days. The Lord looking for humble brothers that want to seek wisdom in these last days, man. Right? Yes, right. Right. So let me get uh Chirac. Let me get Chirac 36 and 11. Right? Let me get Chirac 36 and 11. This is the book of Chirac. Chapter 36, verse 11. So right, so we planning to see Lord willing the most I get an increase, man. Right? So read that. Gather all the tribes of Ju Jacob together. Read that again from the top. This the book of Sirach, what? chapter 36, verse 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. Do what? Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. Hey, brother, if you a so-called black man, you got to separate, man, right? So the Lord said in these last days, we got to gather all the tribes of Jacob together, man. That's the whole purpose of us coming out here, right? We trying to gather the tribes of the children of Israel, man. That's right. right? We had so-called, brother said he a uh, so-called African-American. The other brother said he a so-called Puerto Rican. But before they left, the brothers understood that they was from the tribe of Judah and from the tribe of Ephraim. Right. So we out here to gather all the tribes of Jacob together, man. Right? Uh -huh. Like I said, we planted the seed. Lord willing, the most high get an increase, man. Right. So read that again from the top. This the book of Sirach. Right. right. Chapter 36, verse 11. Right. Gather all the tribes of Jacob Together. This is what we pray for, man. While everybody else praying for worldly and vain things, brothers out here praying for a million dollars, brothers out here praying for uh to get a damn woman, to get that damn crush that they've been liking since damn high school. And in service of the Lord, we pray that the Lord bring a swift, a gruesome, and a bloody destruction upon this nation, man. We pray that the Lord gather all the tribes of Jacob together. Because we need 12,000 brothers from each tribe to come back to the Lord. So the Lord can come back and destroy this wicked ass nation, man. right? You know. Hey, inherit thou them as from the beginning. Right. So we want the Lord to come back and inherit us in the kingdom as He did back during the ancient days, right? Right. Right. Yeah. So we still got that Hosea fourteen one. Let me get back before and seventeen. I'm gonna close it up. Go. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 14 and verse 1. So you got to come, if, if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, you got to come get the true words of the Lord in these last days. And you can't be, and you can't be involved in that madness that they got going on across the street. Hey, hey, where the hell did their police at, man? Right. Did the damn police come out here and say that we can't talk on the microphone? Right. Why the hell are these damn devils on the microphone, man? Right. Right? Where the hell did that police at when that junk going on, man? Oh, you know, he, he Do you see, the, you see this man that's going on? Hey, that's, that's Satan, man. Trying yeah, to take away the words of the Lord. Right? But you can't shut down the words of the Lord, man. Right. Right? And where did that police go when that's going on, man? Right. Right? right. Yeah, he the man, so he Hey, you damn devil! Hey! Hey, the, hey, the police said, cut the damn mic off, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting 
Right, mommy, go get him! No, he, 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 he stay put, man. Right. See, where, where, the damn, where the damn police at when that's going on, man? He just want to shut us down. Right, he want to shut down. But, hey, you can't shut down the service of the Lord, man. Right! Right? Matter of fact, give me that in uh, Romans 8, 8 to 31. He want to shut the truth down. That's what they will. Right, no, that's yeah, that's what they Yeah, come. No, that's it. Drop that. He didn't right. want to shut the lie. Well, he down. trying to say he trying to shut down the service of the Lord, but these damn devils out here preaching that false doctrine, talking on the damn microphone, and they ain't nowhere to be seen. The devil ain't gonna shut the devil right. down. Ain't talking about well, uh, well, if I come out here and I see him, then I, I'm gonna tell him that too. Okay, where you at? Right, yeah. right. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. That's madness. <laughs> you see how Satan get down? Yeah. That's madness, man. All right. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, it's cool. Hey, the police ain't got to shut that damn devil down. Right, the the words of the Lord gonna shut him down. That's right. The Most High God, Yahweh Ba Shimi, Yahweh Shai gonna shut his ass down. That's right. right? So read that. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 31. Right. What shall we then say to these things? Right. If the Most High be for us. If the what? If, if the, the Most, most high, high be for us. If the Most High gonna be for us, man. Right? Read on. Who can be against us? Who what? Who can be against hey, us? Who gonna be against the service of the Lord, man? Hey, the damn police can't shut us down, man. Right? These damn false prophets ain't gonna shut us down, man. Right? That's right. That's why the Lord said you can't do nothing against this truth before the truth, man. Right. Right? That's right. All they doing is showing how much of a damn devil the so-called white man is, man. Right. right? As soon as the service of the Lord, as soon as we start heating up, the damn devil want to come out. Well, you guys can't be talking on the microphone without right, a, without right. a uh, damn uh, uh, permit. Right. We've been out here for damn, man, damn six, seven about, months. Yeah, uh, side of mic, that's what we We've been out here for damn six, seven months, and right. they ain't said that before. Right. 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 Yeah, so all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they gonna come out of nowhere and right. they come up. Hey, these damn devils be coming up with this damn, is, damn laws out their damn ass. This is a new devil. Right. That was a new devil. They be pulling out, they be pulling out stuff out their damn ass, man. Right? Right. If we couldn't talk on the mic, if we couldn't talk on the mic, that would have been said something about that, man. Right. That's mine. If we could talk on the mic, why they didn't say that seven months ago? Right? Why they didn't say that seven months ago? Right? That don't make no sense, man. Right? Oh no, we got a pistol t-shirt. Right? So now, so what? So what, what's going on? Right? Okay. Right. Go pistols. Right? All right. So look. So look. Look. These. These are the works. These are the works of Satan in these last days, man. I got a fan. Right? <laughs> He trying to shut down the service of the Lord, but they ain't gonna shut down these damn devils, right? It's a damn saying that these damn devils got our Lord uh name and name. One scripture. Right. Just talking. So let me get let me, you, that's it on that? Huh. Let me get let me get back before it's seven. I don't even want to get started on these damn devils. Uh, because I, I go all night messing around with these damn devils. So let me get uh let me get back before it's seven. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent! Do what? Repent! Do what? Repent! Repent. Repent. Right? For the kingdom. For the what? For the kingdom. For the what? For the kingdom. Right. Of heaven. Right. Is its head. Is that what? Is its head. Is that what? Is its head. So like we tell you week in and week out, right? The kingdom of heaven is at hand for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you didn't know, you living in the last days. If you want to escape the death, destruction, the famine, and the pestilence that's coming to the earth. You gotta come back to the Lord. You gotta repent. And you gotta keep His law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right. But with that, I wanna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and Shalom. Shalom. Glory to Yahweh. Glory to Yahweh. Glory to Yahweh. Glory to Yahweh. Glory to Yahweh.